All right, moving right along. If you've got the intro main riff of the song, the verse and the chorus, you're now ready for the solo. So we'll take this in little small bits. The first phrase we're gonna learn sounds like this. One, two, three. We're gonna play 12 on the D string followed by 10 to 12 on the G. Now we're gonna play on the 13th fret of the B string, but we're gonna do a pre-bend here. So we're gonna bend up first and then release the bend. Come back to 11 on the B, 12 G, 11 on the B with a little push. Next phrase. Okay, so it starts off the same as the first phrase, 12 D followed by 10 to 12 on the G. Now I'm gonna play 11 on the B, and then I'm gonna bend up with my middle finger on the 11th fret of the B string. Come back down, 10 now on the B string. Now I'm gonna play eight to 10 on that same B string, and then hammer on and pull off eight, 10, eight. 10 on the G, eight on the B, and then we'll finish this phrase by playing 10, eight, 10 on the G. Okay, it's a lot of numbers. Let's go back to the beginning and put it in context. One, two, three. Okay, the next phrase we're gonna take a look at is a little longer, sounds like this. So we're gonna play 10 on the G string, and then we're gonna bend up a full step here from the 10th fret of the G string before we strike the note. So it'll sound like this. And we'll do that twice. Now we're gonna play eight on the B, 11 on the B, and do that same idea where we strike the note, bend, and then it's a pre-bend, so we bend up on the 11th fret right there before we strike the note, and then we strike it. Come back down and do it again. Okay, so what we just did was this. Okay, next phrase is gonna sound like this. Eight on the high E string, followed by eight, 11 on the B. And now we have a little fast run. Okay, we start off kind of bluesy, bending up on the 10th fret of the G string, followed by eight on the B, eight on the high E. Then we're gonna play 11, 10, eight on the B, followed by 11, 10, eight on the G. Okay. Now with the third finger, we're gonna pivot from the D string 10th fret back to the G string 10th fret. Followed by eight to seven on the G. And then 10, eight, seven on the D string. Okay, so if we go back a little bit to these pre-bends, here's what we just played. Next phrase, we're gonna play this very staccato, so the notes are gonna be very muted and short. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so what I did, I started off on the 10th fret on the A string, followed by eight to seven on the D, 10 to eight, eight, seven, five on the G, and now we're gonna play on the third fret of the G string and bend up and come back down. So I'll do this bend with my first finger. So that whole phrase we just did sounds like this. Okay, more action now on the G string. Five to three. 
back to the second fret up to the third fret. Once again, two, three, back to the second fret. And then we're gonna play the open G string and there's a little dive with the tremolo bar. Okay, so if I go back to the beginning of the staccato phrase, here's what we've done. Next phrase. So what I'm doing here is kind of bluesy. We're playing on the fifth fret of the G string, bend up a full step, grab the third fret of the B to the E string. Now we're gonna play on the sixth fret of the B string, and then the third fret of the high E twice. Then six, five, three on the B string. Six, five, three on the G string. And then pivot here, five on the D to five on the G. Back to the third fret. Then bend up on the fifth fret of the G string four times. Okay, so that whole phrase we just learned, if we put it together, sounds like this. Here's the next phrase. Okay, some more action from the G minor pentatonic. We're starting off three to six on the B, followed by three on the high E. Repeat those three notes. Six on the high E. Eight on the high E, bend that up. Come back down and do that bend again. Back down to eight. Six to eight. Landing finally on the eighth fret of the B string. Okay, so that phrase once again. Okay, here's the next phrase now. We have some more fast licks. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we're gonna start off on the eighth fret to the eleventh fret on the B. Back to the tenth fret of the G, bend that up. And then we're gonna do this repetitive lick. Eight on the B and then eight on the high E to 11, back to eight on the B. Repeat those three notes. Eight on the high E, back to 11 B now. Now we're gonna climb up. Eight to 10 on the high E. 11 to 13 on the high E. And then bend up a full step. And then we're gonna go back and forth on that 13th fret of the high E string. We're gonna come back down from the bend and bend back up a full step. We're gonna do that four times. Then come back down, 13 on the high E, 10th fret on the high E, 13 on the B, bend that up a full step. Next phrase. Okay, and that's also, by the way, the final phrase of the solo. So we're jumping back into third position here. We're gonna bend on the fifth fret of the G string. Grab six on the B. Come back off of that bend on the fifth fret. Third fret of the G now. Five to three on the G down to the root note five on the D string, that note is G. And the final lick, we're gonna slide from six to eight on the B, eight to six on the high E string, 
eight on the high E string, bend up a full step. And after we get that bend, we're gonna start striking that note and releasing it. We're gonna strike it eight times. And then we're gonna have five quarter note triplets, so the rhythm changes slightly. And then we're gonna go back the final two notes. We're just gonna bend from this, the sixth fret of the B string up a full step. Okay, so once again, that final phrase sounds like this. All right, so if you've got all those parts, you've got everything you need for the song. There's the main riff, there's the verse, there's the chorus, and there's the solo. And that's all that happens during the song. So real briefly, we can go through the arrangement. It starts off with the intro riff, and that'll be followed by a verse and a chorus. Back to the intro riff, verse and a chorus. Back to the intro riff, into the solo. After the solo, the intro riff happens again, and then there's a third verse and a third chorus. And then finally, they just fade out with a jam that's based around the main intro riff. So that's it. Those are the parts for Smoke on the Water. Have some fun with it.